Good morning. This is Mrs. Campbell for those who are joining me for the first time. I'm using this medium to introduce the students to the LMS RENWEB system that a school is using. A lot of persons are unfamiliar and as a result, they are having challenges logging on, uploading the assignments, finding the work that the teachers have posted, etc. So I am going to be exploring with you. It's new to me, just as always new to you. And so we are going to navigate together and find our way around the system. All right, let's go. I'm going to be sharing my screen right now. All right, and now that I'm sharing my screen, you will be, I'll be going straight to the website, but before I do, let me just get some things out of the way. Take that off and let me also, all right, so I've opened my Google page and in order to get to the system, you need to type LMS dot renweb.com or www.lms.renweb.com because I've used it before it's in my system so as soon as I start typing it will come on let me get this out of the way all right so here I am now typing LMS just highlight that L M S and there it comes up and I click enter. All right, see it's loading and now that it has loaded your scene the screen. On the screen, I'll be using a student's account. All right. So here in the district code, it should have C M dash J A M and all capital letters. However, um, just in case it's not there, you will type it in capital letters for everything, and it's a dash, not an underscore, right? Hyphen, same thing we call dash in Jamaica, not an underscore, not the, the one at the bottom, but the one in the middle. Then you type in your name, first name, last name. So first name start with a capital letter, last name start with a capital letter, and you put a full stop between them, no space. So Loria dot Campbell, that is it. So Loria starts with capital L and Campbell with a capital C. And then you'll enter the password you would have got. For the password, some persons may have gotten variations in their password, so you would enter it right here. And the password, common letters plus some numerals. So remember, username, first name, dot, full stop, last name. First name, full stop, last name. Capital letter for the first letter in each name and then the password goes here. You type it in, no space, no capital letters. All right, so just give me a minute to do that and then I will get back to you. Good, so I have logged in. And as I said to you before, this is a student account. So this student does agricultural science with Miss Risden. She does cosmetology and barbering. Um, this is where your grade nine supervisor would comment. She does come skills, data up, English, English B, English A, and all of these subjects, quite a bit of subjects, all right? And you will have principal's comments here. And this is my class, social studies. Here's visual arts. So we're looking at a student screen. This is what you will see once you log in. In order for you to get the material that a teacher has posted, you will need to click on the subject. So I'm clicking on cosmetology here. Right here, I'm seeing, ooh, interesting, roller placement, 
Miss Erica demonstrating roller placement. Wonderful. That's a video that the teacher has posted on the wall. But you notice there's nothing here. So you can click previous, then you'll be able to see things that were there before. And next you'll see things that are coming up. But I'm going to come out of this and I'm going to go back to the home. So you see, I click on the house to go to the home and I'm going to go through my window. For some classes, you realize you're not seeing anything. It says no upcoming events. It does not mean that the teacher did not post any work for you. It just means that the work that was posted, the due date for it has passed. Or the work that is posted, the date it has been scheduled to show is not up as yet. So for you to find old work, then you'll have to go to the class calendar and click on previous. And we'll do that as well. But before I go any further, let me just go into the homeroom. And then, yes, I'm using one of my form students um, login. So let me go into the homeroom and let me just do this quickly. In, the, in, in um, 9A, students would have been able to see that there's a, a handout there posted for um, information on coronavirus. And you click on it and it will download. And what you will see is this beautifully demonstrated document that is for students. It says, hello, I am a virus, cousins with the flu and the common cold. And it goes through, my name is coronavirus. I love to travel and it goes through a whole explanation of the corona and how to take care of yourself and your loved ones. And, and this is for children really. So that's that. But in addition to that, I'd really want to do something very special. The following students in 9A, they're having their birthdays. And so I would want to celebrate these students. Jamal Blake, Isaiah Marshall, Deshaun Moody, AJ Morris, Shanil Booth, and Tanisha Mahoney. Happy birthday to you all. Sorry we are not together where we can have a big showdown and a shindig. I really have eat some cake and ice cream and all of that. But until then, let's have a virtual party. All right, so that's that. 9A, love you, see you soon. We are now going to go back to the home button and we're looking at the subjects. So here's social studies for Mrs. Campbell. Here's visual arts for Mr. Bailey. And you will see work posted on Mr. Bailey's site and says principles of design due Friday, May 29, 2.30 p.m. And you realize, of course, that this is not yet due because Friday the 29th is not yet. So that's why you're seeing it. Social studies for Mrs. Campbell, you're not seeing anything. Not that I didn't post anything, but it has expired or it is yet to come. So let's see what's happening in social studies. Now that we're in the social studies window, I am going to just give me a second there. We're in the social studies window and we are going to be looking at what we're seeing here. So you're heading your class. Then on the left over here, we're seeing class calendar. We have the engagement and whatever the teacher um, heads up the things as. So this is due Tuesday, May 26. So let me click on this and see what this is. Oh, so it's work for us to do. So engagement, watch the first world video of Jamaica by 2020 by clicking on the link, then discuss below whether you think what is shown in the video is possible. So what I would do here is click on the link. I click on the link, the video. And so watch the video. The video is playing and you watch the video and then the teacher is asking you to comment on whether or not you think it is possible. All right, so I finish watching the video. I'll just click on the back button and I will go back to the rain web, to the LMS. So now that I'm back in the LMS, I watched the video and I want to come in. So I'll click on this red circle here with a plus sign and I'll start typing. Yes, I think it is possible and I continue. What if it was that um, it was an assignment where I was supposed to draw something or type an essay? What I would do is I'd type that or draw it, take a picture of it, or save it in my phone or save it in my, on my computer. Click on this paper clip here. And the paper clip will ask me if I want to browse my, my system, which is a computer or a phone, or I want to go to Google Drive. More than likely you're going to be using, it's saved on your phone or your computer. So I click on browse. 
and it will take me to something. So let me just click on this document and I click on it and it will attach. All right. And see, there it is. But right now I not going to, and after I attach it, I would post and whatever I was typing would still be there. And you post. If you don't click on post, it will not be saved to the system, to the LMS. All right. So I'm not going to be actually saving this. I'm going to take that back off. And you would have seen where I am commenting here, responding to a student who would have commented on it. And these students would have commented already and I would have responded. And the same would happen when you do this, when you do likewise. All right, back in social studies, I shouldn't have gone that far. So we have a class calendar, we have the list of things that are current, that are happening right now that you need to do. In the middle here, you have the class wall. Anything you type here, will be there for everybody to see in the class, not just me. So if you're not sure how to, about something and you want somebody to help you, could you um, explain how Miss expect me to draw the table or what Miss meant by renewable resources? You could type that right here. So you would type whatever you want to say or ask and you click on post and anybody in the class would see it. So anybody could respond, a lot of students could respond or the teacher myself or whoever is a teacher for that class would respond. On this side now, which is on the right side, you will have the topics. So development and use of resources, that's a unit. And in this unit, well, there are the objectives. There are two lessons here so far. So I could either click on this one or this one. This lesson is gone already. So actually you're not seeing this anymore. What these things that you're seeing, they actually belong to this lesson. And so for you to see the old lessons in case you're just going into the LMS system, you didn't know about it, or you just couldn't get on, or you didn't, whatever reason, you're just going on, what lessons have been posted and do they gone already, but you need to get them done, you click on previous. Well, it doesn't say any previous here, but next, and the next would show you what else is to come. So here are the topics, all the topics. So you just click on the topic and it will show you what it is that you need to do. Uh, complete the quiz. Look at, let's look at this one. This one says complete the following quiz. And there's a red circle again, but with a paper. And it says this quiz has no questions. Well, I'm not sure what happened there. Oh, I think there's a link. The quiz, this, there's a link for this quiz that you would click on just as I did for the video. But it's just that most students had already completed it during the WhatsApp group but I'll ensure I put it back there for those who might be coming in afterwards. All right, so let's go back. And if it is that you have an essay to type, here it is now, let's explore. And it says, let's go. What resources do you see in the pictures there and all of that? And it gives you the key term. So sometimes videos might be posted there. And if you click on it, it's going to download it. And then you can open it and look at it. And if it is, there you go. And there are, there are list, uh, there's a list of the key terms that we would have covered in that particular lesson. And you just continue going through and following the instructions. Go back. No, we were looking at this one, but that's a past lesson. This is a current lesson. So, and as you look, the older lessons will be at the top and the newer ones will be towards the bottom. So here we are in this one. And all you have to do is see something here, you click on more or you click on the heading itself and it will take you to that particular page. And when you get there, you look for the red circle so you can click on it to either upload your assignment or to type your response because in some cases maybe i said draw a poster or write a song and you're going to draw it maybe in your book or write it in your book you take a picture of it with your phone and you upload it just like what i showed you earlier or if you're going to do it on your computer using microsoft word powerpoint or all of those exciting things guys i know you love to do that you do that you save it on your computer or on your phone and you're going to attach because right here you would have seen the paper clip to attach. All right, so students have been responding. Let's see if there's anything else I need to show you. And pay attention students, to see if things are graded to ensure that you place special emphasis on the things that are graded. 
And remember, we have a Google Classroom going and I will try as best as possible to keep the Google Classroom as updated as the REN web. And there are times when there'll be additional documents placed in the Google Classroom that might not be available in REN web due to space allocation, et cetera. So if there are any questions, um, send me a comment on the YouTube channel asking me your question and I'll do my best to answer it. And whatever it is, so whatever I have not been able to cover, just ask and I'll be only too happy. Hopefully this would have assisted you in completing and being able to access your LMS to get your work done. Have a wonderful day. I'll be checking in with you soon again. All right, take care. Yeah.